You asked for it, so here it is. Odin Inspector and Odin Validator now have addressable support. Odin will draw better looking and more functional inspectors for asset references and asset label references. There are also several new validators specifically designed to help with your addressable workflow. Odin also brings faster analysis of asset bundles compared to Unity's built-in scanning, helping to prevent errors. These features are available with Odin 3.2, which is available now. Addressable support does require an additional module, but when you add the Unity addressable package to your project, the Odin addressable support module will be installed automatically. Odin's support of asset references brings new inspector functionality when selecting an addressable, most notably collapsible addressable groups and a search bar making finding the correct asset that much easier. There's also a convenient button to open the addressable's group editor window. The asset label reference fields also get a little extra polish from Odin. On top of a better drop-down menu, you also get a search bar to help find the correct label, plus a button that will open the addressable's labels editor window. Both of these features are designed to smooth out your workflow and save you time. The preview field and inline editor attributes now support asset reference fields and function just like they would if the fields were non-asset references. Want a preview of a texture? Or maybe you want to be able to see and adjust the settings of a material. That's now all easily done with Odin's addressable support. You can also easily use attributes that work on Unity objects with Unity addressables. With the addition of register asset reference attribute forward to child, you can tell Odin which attributes work with asset references, all without editing or making any new custom drawers. And that's it. Odin has done the rest of the work to make the attribute work with asset reference fields. We did want to mention one more attribute as it was requested by the Odin community. That being disallow addressable sub asset field. As the name suggests, this will prevent a sub asset from being assigned to a given asset reference field. Odin 3.2 also comes with a handful of validators designed to smooth out your workflow and prevent common errors with addressables. It's worth noting that these validators will function without the Odin validator add-on installed. You'll still get warnings in the inspector, but you won't have the Odin validator editor window to configure rules as these are features that are built into the Odin validator and not Odin inspector. When an asset reference field is assigned, the rule will check if the object is an addressable. If it's not, a warning will be shown and a fix will be provided in the inspector to create a new addressable along with the desired group. Additionally, if the asset reference fields are decorated with the required attribute, the rule will notify you of any missing references. In the rule configuration, you can also toggle on or off whether required is the default behavior. If you turn this on, you won't need to add the required attribute to every field. Alternatively, you can enable the required by default option in the validator rules and use the optional attribute to mark fields as such. Similarly, the asset label reference validator rule will check all asset label reference fields with the required attribute and will notify you if the label is not set. And just like the asset reference rule, in the rule configuration, you can toggle on or off whether required is the default behavior. The last validation rule we wanted to mention is the check duplicate bundle dependencies rule. This rule can scan to see if addressables in separate groups may depend on a third asset that is not set as an addressable. If this is detected, a warning and a fix to create a new addressable will be shown. If there are further features you'd like to see added to Odin's addressable support, let us know in the comments down below or reach out on the Odin Discord.